Next question is from CMOS23. What is harder to develop, quads when you're glute dominant or glutes when you're quad dominant? Uh, that's funny. That's you, yeah. you know what's funny about this? Uh, immediate, my immediate like reaction is to say glutes only because it's, nine it's out of ten common. times that's yeah. the issue. Yeah. It's almost never that someone's glute dominant and their quads don't want to react. But I will say this. They're probably equally as hard. I don't, I don't care who you talk to. Yeah. When you're doing a compound lift and you're there's a particular muscle group that just isn't doing a lot of the work and other, other muscle groups are doing most of the work, it's really hard to come out of. It just is. It's a very challenging thing. So it could be – I think both are really hard. Now, the way that you solve both issues is by hitting that particular muscle first or priming it properly, which will help you change the technique and form to activate those muscles more. I know, you know, it's funny. Doug is a, isn't Doug a glute dominant he's, guy? He's one of the only people I've ever known that is like that. With, You're a with big squat. booty guy, right? You have, yeah. you have more, more powerful glute. glutes over here. Mm -hmm. So I, I actually think uh, that's easier only for the, for the reason I think it's easier. There's a, I, or, and maybe correct me if I'm wrong, but like in my head right now, I'm going, okay, I, I can think of a lot more good strength building exercises for the quads than for the glutes. The glutes are really tough to have like really, there's hip thrust and a lot of the exercises that you would do primarily for the glutes, you're going to, you're going to fill it in your, in your quads if you're quad dominant. So it's, you could always like glute, like, uh, excuse me, uh, quad isolation exercises, I guess are pretty easy. Yeah. That's what I mean. It's oh, really right. leg extensions, leg well, presses. Well, let's talk about Doug for a second. So Doug's glute dominant. And so what's he, what's he doing? He's doing heel ed elevated versions of squats. So goblet squats, goblet squats, front mm -hmm. squats, things that keep them real upright, get them no more knee extension sissy squats sissy i showed squat. him i showed him a version of a sissy squat the other day with a cable mm. uh that will sub, at some point we're going to air as a friday fit tip which is really good but i mean honestly if there's a muscle group that you have that you're having trouble connecting to hit that first with some isolation exercises then go to the compound lift now that doesn't automatically increase the activation because i know there's some keyboard warriors and scientists that are watching this going with well, steady show that pre-exhausting <laughs> doesn't blah 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 okay it's not because by itself it's increasing activity what it's doing is it's allowing you to feel that muscle more so you can change your form with the compound lift. If I pre-exhaust my chest and then I go bench press, now it's easy, if, if, and if that's an area that's hard for me to connect to, now I can move my elbows and position the bar in a way to where, oh, there's the chest. I can really feel it now in the lift. So it helps you with the compound lift. That's really the main benefit, but it's, there's nothing inherent about it that increases uh, activation. Can we make a commitment, the three of us, that when when people, when you know the academia, uh, academics get on our page and and love to do that stuff, that instead of us going back and forth and even waste our time, we just put like I, I know, know things. things. Yeah. <laughs> yes, hundred percent. It's perfect. For you. All right, I would, let's, like, let's I would all, like for our fans because well, no, our fans will know that, right? Oh, okay. So they'll yeah. understand it. That they'll just get frustrated, like what's that supposed to mean, right? Because yeah. because it's always it's never so many quotations though. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah no, of course yeah. you quote it and say I know. things things and then we'll just leave it at that because it's I'm not going to waste my time going back and forth explaining this because it is it's always somebody who like well the science says yeah. this I don't give a shit that's what it says yeah, I'm telling the, you from training tons in a of very people very controlled you, setting with you know a very limited population yeah. it's going to yeah, prove this well, that's yeah. fine I was just you know, what made me think of that was one we just brought up that story of you talking about I know things and I was recently I let myself get sucked in with somebody on YouTube of going back and trying to explain I'm like, why am I doing this? This person is some troll who probably has never even listened to our show. Yeah. They they heard they this one up some website. Yeah, they heard this like one clip and they want to try and debate yeah. back and forth with me. And it's like you're not even the person I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help everybody else that is actually looking to learn and and, and take some advice. Not someone who wants to argue with me on the science.